Okay, so this looks like a very, very complicated question. Um, now, there are multiple ways of doing this. So if you do this a different way uh, to the way I do, but you've written down all your reasons as you've gone along and you get the same answer, that's absolutely fine. And that's to be expected with, with more complicated questions. Um, so the first thing I notice with this question is we have an isosceles triangle here um, because they're both radii. So that's an isosceles triangle. So we know that the bottom two angles are equal. Therefore, to work them out, we do 180 degrees angles in a triangle, take away the 40, uh, which is 140 degrees. And then we do 140 divided by 2 because we know the two remaining angles, which are this one here and this one here, are going to be equal. So that's 70 degrees. So we know that they're 70 degrees. Okay, now this is the interesting bit. This bit here is going to be 80 degrees because we're just adding them together. And that is going to be equal to x. So x is going to be 80 degrees. And the reason for that is when you have a triangle, which we do here, this big one here, coming off a tangent, which is this here, then you have a weird circle theorem, it's the famous circle theorem called alternate segment theorem that states that the angle here, well, let's do a different color here, is equal to the angle here. It's quite a weird one because they're, they're the opposite sides. So the left-hand side of the triangle is equal to the right-hand side from the triangle to the tangent. But the good thing about this circle theorem is you just need to write down three words. Alternate segment theorem. The mark scheme will always just be those three words. So don't try and write a different explanation. It will just have those three words.